generation has the most expendable income of any generation before it. With that comes some challenges, but also some opportunities. So as farmers and ranchers, it's important for us to realize that the trends are changing and maybe even change the way in which we are producing or building trust with our consumers to be able to meet those differences and change the way in which we are marketing our products. As we look at one trend in particular, the millennial generation is very interested in buying products from companies who share the same values. This makes sense and is easily seen on several different products, but how can we address it in the agriculture industry? Well, one way in which we can look at this is with animal welfare and well-being. We have several activist groups out there that are pushing companies to go cage-free or pasture-raised and they're, and they're laying hens instead of the conventional methods of hens that are in smaller cages. This sounds good, right? This is a trend that people can get on board with because it's friendlier to animals. This is a value to them because as millennials have come upon us, we have realized that they are getting married at a later age. They're not having children as early as they did in the boomer generation. And therefore, we are seeing them replace the children with companion animals. They care more about animals. They humanize animals and even maybe extra humanize animals. They spend ridiculous amounts of money on surgeries, outfits, and accessories for their animals. And so as we work with this generation and realize that they are going to humanize animals, they are going to feel like they have knowledge about what is best for them. What they don't understand is while cage-free or pasture-raised sounds really good, the science actually shows that the mortality of those cage-free and pasture-raised birds, those laying hens, increases. At the same time, their production, the number of eggs they are producing, decreases. Again, as an animal scientist, I have to posit this research because it's actually showing poor animal welfare in those situations that sound better and make us feel good. So as we work with consumers and we build trust with consumers, we have to understand that what they feel good about may not actually be good for the animals because their behavior differs from us humans. Mm -hmm.